Thank you. There is an amendment, and we'll go ahead and ask Mr. Mendez. Mr. Chairman, I move the five line amendment in my name dated 2 15 16 at 1106 be adopted. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, members, House Bill 2526 reduces the minimum period of time that a county pound must hold a stray dog or cat from 72 hours to 48 hours. The bill also requires a pound to hold a dog or cat that is healthy or sick and injured or sick or injured but treatable for 72 hours and requires a dog surrendered by a pounder to be held at the pound for at least 72 hours. Mr. Chairman, there is a proposed amendment. I'd be happy to explain it. Please explain. Mr. Chairman, members, the Five Line Mendez Amendment removes the requirement that a healthy stray dog or cat be held at the pound for at least 72 hours and specifies that a dog that is surrendered by its owner and that is healthy or sick or injured but treatable may not be euthanized for at least 72 hours. With that, Mr. Chairman, I'm happy to answer any questions. Members, have any questions for Mike? Yes, I'm the Chairman. Who's that part? Do we have a legal description for treatable? Um, Mr. Chairman and Representative Barton, we do not. Thank you. The sponsor is here, Mr. Andrade. Mr. Andrade, what are we doing here? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members, thank you so much for hearing House Bill 2526, Animal Control Mandatory and Bound Periods. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is trying to save dogs. House Bill 2526 protects animals from forced long stays in local animal shelters. The proposed legislation would reduce Arizona's long forced hold to a minimum of 48 hours for an animal impound and not eligible for a sterilization program. An animal that is sick or injured and treatable or surrendered by its owner, the holding period would be 72 hours. If an animal is impounded with a microchip or any other identification, the holding period increases to 120 hours. Benefits of a shorter stray hold. Animals can suffer from the following and force to stay in shelters longer than needed. Stress from being in an unfamiliar environment, health risks, illness, and disease from overcrowding, behavioral issues. Disease and overcrowding are the leading cause of preventable euthanasia in impoundment shelters. Therefore, reducing the stray hold will keep more animals alive and well. With a shorter stray hold, the Maricopa County Animal Care and Control estimates they will save $30 on each of the 30,000 animals they care for annually, totaling 900 studies. In a case study in December 2013, San Antonio amended their city code to reduce mandatory stray hold period by one day for animals with an identified live outcome placement. Animals without an identified live outcome placement are still required to be held for a minimum of three days. The adopted amendment has increased capacity by allowing more cage space with one day reduction and has provided additional time in the child for animals without a guaranteed or without a guaranteed live outcome. Six months prior to implementation of the adopted amendment, July through December 2013, San Antonio's average live release rate was 78.11 Six months after implementation, January through June 2013, San Antonio's average life release rate was 83.13%. For the first quarter of fiscal year 2015, San Antonio reached an 84% life release rate, and during the second quarter, it increased to 85%. And one thing I want to add on here, because we're still working with stakeholders on here, and much concern has been brought up about the 48 hours. So I'm willing to get that amendment with our stakeholders and increase it as needed on the floor amendment as well. And I'm also available for questions. Thank you, Mr. Andrade. Members have questions for the representative. Mr. Chairman, I do. Uh, Representative Barton. 